Are you starting a business or looking to expand your business with new product offerings? In order to get an image onto a throw pillow, we'll show you what you need and how to do it with Epson dye sublimation technology. In order to get your printed image onto a throw pillow case, here's what you need. A 24 inch wide Epson F570 dye sublimation printer, some scissors, heat transfer tape, a blank throw pillow case, a heat press 20 by 25 inches or larger, and some craft paper. Once you have the finished design for your throw pillow, this is how to send it to the F570 printer. For Windows users, click the print button. Check choose paper source by PDF page size if it is not already checked. Choose properties. Select the media type setting that matches the paper you loaded. If you want to use paper settings that have been set in the printer's control panel, select Use Printer Settings. Click OK, then click Print to send the file to the printer. For Mac users, click the Print button. Check Choose Paper Source by PDF Page Size if it is not already checked. Click Printer. Choose Printer Settings. Select the media type setting that matches the paper you loaded. If you want to use paper settings that have been set in the printer's control panel, select Use Printer Settings. Click Print, and click Print again to send the file to the printer. And now we're ready to cut our paper down to size. And now we're ready to tape our throw pillowcase onto the print. We will use a few pieces of heat transfer tape. We'll stuff the pillow with our filling after we've completed the pressing. And now we're ready to press. Before we place our item onto the press, let's set a sheet of craft paper down first. Now we'll take our throw pillow and we'll flip it over so that the paper is on top. Place a piece of craft paper on top of that and now we're ready to press it. We're pressing at medium pressure, 400 degrees for 60 seconds and when the timer is done, it will alert us. When the press is done, open it slowly, remove your craft paper, and set your item off to the side. So now we're ready to remove our heat transfer tape, and we're gonna open our zipper so we can place our pillow inside. Now that we've put our pillow inside the pillowcase, we're done.